13 years ago, I installed my first browser and it was Internet Explorer. Although that didn't last for a while because once I found about Chrome, I just switched to it like most of us. And I really enjoyed tweaking every single thing of it. The themes, settings and extensions. Because that was a whole new thing coming from this browser. But throughout the years, I also tried other browsers like Firefox, over at GX, Brave and some of the new ones. So today I'm going to show you the browser I'm using right now and what makes it different and the extensions I rely on every single day to save time and make my browsing experience seamless. Okay, so let's start with the browser. If you thought I was going to say the Zen browser because everyone's talking about it, then you're wrong. But I'll explain to you later why I don't use it. So my browser of choice is Vivaldi. But why? There's three reasons why I've been using Vivaldi for the last four months and the first of them is a customization. You can change the basic things like having the tabs on the top, on the left, on the right, or even at the bottom, which is kind of weird to be honest, but I like having the option. Then you can customize the themes and this side panel where you can open sites, see the downloads and some other things, although I don't really use it. But if you go to this plus icon right here and then to customize panel, here you can change the settings of the status bar, panel, command chains and also the address bar, which I modified a little bit to try to keep all the icons on the left side of the screen. So for example, if I just wanted to add the workspaces icon, I can just click on it and then drag it wherever I want. And if I don't want it right here, I can also put it on the right side of the screen, like I just did, but I don't use it, so I'm just gonna remove it. The only icon I just couldn't move to the left side was the bookmark icon right here, because it's attached to the address bar, I think. And you can even hide the address bar if you want to, which is not bad if you want to optimize the space of your screen, in case you have a small monitor. You also have the option to make the UI compact if you want to, which affects all the top area of the window. And if you're one of those people who use the tab stacking option, then you also have three options to choose. Here in the tab section, you also have the option to switch tabs by scrolling, which is very useful if you're only using your mouse. But I prefer to switch tabs in a different way, I'll show you in a bit. Something really useful I also found is this search chart that I can open with F2. And you can use it to open a new tab. For example, if I want to Google something, I just do it. Then I can also close a tab if I want to. Oh fuck. And yeah, you can do a lot of things here. And if you can't open the search bar with F2, it's probably because I have another shortcut for this. But you can change it. But now let's move on to the second thing I like about this browser, which are the shortcuts. I haven't seen any other browser that gives you this much control over shortcuts like Vivaldi. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. So I have F4 to edit the address bar, which is super handy if you're hiding it because you want to save some space. Or if you want to go to a different site very quickly, so I just press the address bar and type the website where I want to go. Then I have a control. Control shift w to close all the other tabs i'm not using so if i press it you'll see how the other tabs will close before using vivaldi i was using an extension to do this and i think it's um this one which you basically have to press alt shift w but now since i can choose which shortcut i want i just change it to Control shift w and then i have these shortcuts to move through my tabs with just the keyboard which are Control shift h to move to the left and Control shift l to move to the right like this I think these are honestly my favorite shortcuts because I just switch tabs all the time. And these are some other shortcuts that you can use that are available on most browsers, which are Ctrl T to create a new tab, Ctrl W to close it, and then Ctrl Shift T to reopen a closed tab. And the good thing is that you can press the shortcut as many times as you want. I also have a little trick to open your most used websites and it's incredibly simple. Just bookmark the sites you use the most, but add a short abbreviation at the beginning. Like right here, for example, I have ChatGPT, but I added the GPT at the beginning so every time i want to open chat gpt i can just press ctrl t gpt and i failed so i have to press ctrl t gpt and it'll work i personally find this way more comfortable than using a home tab with a bunch of icons and clicking around but if you prefer that layout you can add a speed dial right here in the home screen of vivaldi and just choose whatever icons you want but before vivaldi i used to have this extension called infinity new tab but now let's move to the third thing i like about vivaldi which are the gestures and these are very useful if you're using your mouse a lot and you don't have to type anything the first gesture i have is to create a new tab so to do that i have to hold right click make the gesture in this case moving the mouse up just a little bit and then releasing the tab will be created and i can just create a lot of tabs like this i can also reload a page by moving the mouse up and then down and these gestures are really useful to cycle through tabs like as you can see right here have the previous tab 
with this movement to the left and the next tab with the movement to the right. So it's really, really easy to cycle through tabs. I remember that when I first discovered these gestures, I was just amazed because they were really useful. And it often happens to me that when I use another PC, I would subconsciously try to use the gestures, but then I realized that I don't have this browser. And the good thing is, is that if you still want to use the gestures, but don't want to use Vivaldi, you can use this extension right here, which is CRX mouse that I used in my old browser, which was Microsoft Edge. It basically works just like Vivaldi's gestures but with this extension you actually see the gesture movement with a text label showing what action you're performing and since I've been using this browser I've had a real good experience but just when I was making this video I installed the Zen browser. I've seen many videos of it and I wanted to try it by myself before I give my opinion. So first I'm gonna go through all the things I liked about the Zen browser. One of the first things I noticed about this browser is that it's open source which is always a big plus if you care about transparency and privacy. About the interface it's really clean and honestly one of the best I've tried so far. And what really makes Zen stand out is the mod system. They're kind of like Chrome extensions but they let you customize different aspects of the browser itself. And since they're all made by the community there's a lot of potential for creativity and improvement over time. If the modding scene keeps growing I think Zen could become one of the most customizable and powerful browsers out there. But there's one big reason why I'm not using Zen right now. And I'm talking about the vertical tabs. Okay I just don't like like them. They feel weird and uncomfortable and I wish I liked them but I'm just really used to having the horizontal tabs right here. The worst part, the same team said that they don't plan to add horizontal tabs anytime soon because vertical tabs are a core design choice for them. I respect that they want to stick to their vision but I'm sure there's a lot of people not using this browser because of the same reason I don't use it. Personally, I find vertical tabs take up too much screen space compared to horizontal ones. They're great if you have a small screen and need to optimize vertical space but that's not my case. I like having tabs at the top because it keeps everything close to my taskbar and it feels more natural to me. I still think the Zen browser is really good, it's just not the right fit for me right now. But wait, because now it's time for the extensions. Since I use Vivaldi which is Chromium based, some of these extensions might not be available for your browser if you're using something like Firefox or Zen, I can probably find some alternatives. So let's go through them very quickly. I use Dark Reader to set all sites to dark mode even if they don't have them. I have Music and Shazam to find music from YouTube videos or any other website, SVG Expert to get logos and images from websites to use in my videos, go full page to take a screenshot of an entire website, this one is really useful if you want to use some websites as b-roll because you don't have to record the page and scroll, you can just take a screenshot and then animate it however you want, vidIQ to get some extra statistics from my youtube videos and other channels, this one also shows you the subscriber count, views per hour and monthly views for all channels, Vimeo to get keyword shortcuts for navigation and control, similar to how Vim works, some of the shortcuts I use are J and K to scroll through a page with a keyword, shift D to get a list of all the tabs that I have open so I can just write for example YouTube or YouTube like this and it will open, F to open a link in the current tab so if I press it and let's say I want to go to home instead of clicking home I can just press the H key that you have right here so if I press H it will take me to the home page and this also works with images so let's say I'm right here and I want this logo and I'm only using my keyword I just press the F and then the S and then I will have the logo right here and I don't know why but I just like to try to find ways to not to use my mouse and that's also why I use a Thailand window manager to control my windows with just my keyword but I talk about that in the first video I did in this channel which is this one okay so then we have news feed eradicator to remove my Twitter and Instagram feed and hook to block my YouTube homepage and the suggested videos Volume master to increase the volume beyond what your browser normally allows. Controls for Instagram videos to add this video playback controls when you're watching Reels or any other video. Now we have the last extension, which is the Obsidian Web Clipper. To take notes in Obsidian of any website you want, so that's it. And feel free to share in the comments what browser you're using or any other tips on extensions you might feel like sharing. But remember that you can have the best browser with all the settings but if you still can't get focused while working or studying, don't worry. I made a video a while ago showing the apps and tricks I use to cut out distractions when you're using your PC. Feel free to check it out next.